WASD FM. My name is Luke the Kook, and this is Metal Dogs. I might have to restart the application. Because I don't think it recognizes that my controller is plugged in. Oh no, that's not the problem. <laughs> not at all. There we go. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that either. Crap. Let's go back to option. Go to title. Yes. We're starting over from the beginning. No, I'm not playing hardcore. Sorry. Normal. Normal. There's no easy mode. The game gets easier, though. Level up. Anyway, this is Metal Dogs on Steam. It's been a long time since I've picked up the corpse of a living thing. I don't know if I can do it, but I'll give it a shot. With my electric shock resuscitation. All right. Come back to life. With this electric shock. Oh. What is this? Is that a memory chip in the collar? Looks like it looks like it's recording video. Before I get zapped, let's see what's inside. Okay then. Memory playback. Execute. I need to learn how to act better. Tracking. Pet behavior tracking system activated. Replaying the target's actions from three hours ago. What the hell is this? ostentatious armament. Was this some kind of combat dog or something? But why did it come all the way to this remote area? Anyway, let's check out what happened before this. reminding myself how the controls work in this game. Here we go. Let's see how far I can go. Oh, not very far. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> this is Metal Dogs on Steam. Available now with the soundtrack. Now then, once again, come back to life with this electric shock. Oh, what a success. But you, what were you doing in a place like that? Well, there's no way you can answer that. You are a dog. As you can see, there's nothing here. And no one here. This is just the life you've picked up. You can go wherever you want. Even if you stay here, you'll just be killed by the monsters again. Just like before. Well, there's nothing to overwrite. I'm not overwriting anything, so yeah, I will overwrite the no data. Sounds good. <clears throat> there we go. That way my annoying voice can be heard. No, that's not what I meant. Yep, that's all I have left to do right now. Either save... Save. <laughs> or play. And let's just get right into it. Let's dive into it, shall we? Yep. Got the rusted machine gun. Yeah, the very beginning of this game is kind of slow moving and boring once you get the uh, weak weapons. Or once you only have the weaker weapons. 
And then you have to get through the annoying tutorial. There we go, but you level up. Relatively quick. You don't have to worry about a boss fight anytime soon. Not just yet. Hang on. Give me one moment here. Come on. Don't be shy now. Streamlabs. Hopefully that fixed the frame rate a little bit. I forgot. The frame rate's not great for this game. There's no graphic settings. So I had to put Streamlabs in performance mode. That's all I can do. So this might look a little blurry. But it's not too bad. About damage. You have been damaged by an enemy's attack. Yep. I know how damage in a video game works. Come on! You don't stand a chance, Ant. Yep. Yep. Do, 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 do. Pretty easy. Easy concept. Yes, it is repetitive gameplay, but... It's pretty fun, and it's actually pretty addictive. And there are ways the game switches it up. What? You're still here? And that cool weapon? Where did you bring it back from? If you plan on staying here, there's a doghouse there. You could stay there with your weapon. I don't want to see any more weapons or living things. One way or another, they end up dead or broken. And it just annoys me. Hey, here's the dog. Yay! And we get to unlock backgrounds and frames the more we play. Isn't this cute? Ah, that's enough. I just wanted to enjoy the music for a little bit. Nothing yet. No store yet either. No items for the moment. Cleared that. Moving on. We collect up the th well, we can hold up to three weapons. We collect way more than three. Now I equip that weapon. Whoops. I thought I picked up a new weapon. Did I misunderstand? Hmm. This one feels faster than the one I've had. And yeah, this is sort of a... sort of a roguelike game. It's 
currently in early access right now, too, but it's still worth picking up and playing. You're still going to get a lot of enjoyment out of it. And honestly, it feels like a complete game. The amount of content that you get for this game, uh, this $20 purchase, feels pretty packed, to be honest. You won't be disappointed. It's Diablo, but a run and gun, and no multiplayer. I have no idea how they would make multiplayer work, to be honest. <clears throat> You're still there? Moreover, that's an even more dangerous weapon than the previous one. Did you handle the hunter office request? You are a hard worker. The reward has been paid, even though there are no humans here. Me? I'm no longer human. That's right, huh? It's too dark, you can't see it. Ah, uh, the lights, the lights, where are they? I haven't used them for years. Click. Did you see it? This horrifying body of mine. The mysterious whole body mechanization disease. Machine head syndrome. That's been spreading all over this world for some time now. This village was wiped out because of it. I am also just waiting for death here. Now, hurry up and get lost. Reservations for the graveyard in this village are already full. All we got for right now is just one weapon. No armor. No collars, yeah, no items. Oh, we should be able to equip the next weapon. I don't know why they just... They didn't just... Uh, uh, um, mm. Shh, shh. Ha, ha, ha. What is he doing? Can you hear me? I installed a communication module in your collar. Now I can keep in contact with you and collect you when you die. It's a nuisance if you go and die and end up attracting monsters with your rotting odor. Then go ahead and take a walk through hell to the extent that you won't die. Yep, better equip this right now. Now we have a cannon. Most powerful weapon we have in our arsenal for now. Oh, why did he miss? I didn't have my target set. Target sight set. At least the machine gun is a lot more powerful now. Look at that. What is he doing shooting at walls for? Dummy. I like this game. It's creative. This game took imagination. Which is what more developers need these days. More developers need imagination. I like this game a lot. Ba -ba -dum. What a dog you are! Picking up cannons as well! According to the data in the caller's memory, your destination was the West. Won't your owner be waiting if you go there? Or so I say, but there are many powerful monsters in the West. If you go in unarmed, you are sure to be killed. 
Well, it's none of my business. If you're going to die, do it as far away from here as possible. He doesn't want to get attached. Then he eventually ends up getting attached. But you probably figured that out. Gotta earn more backgrounds and frames. Now, we'll be able to fire missiles too! <clears throat> there are missiles there. They will be useful for you. However, there is a powerful monster in there. You probably can't win now. You should ignore it and come back later. Well, you can't win now. You can try visiting here again after picking up various weapons. If you want to die again, feel free. It's true. This is where we face our first boss. And we don't want him, we don't want to fight him right now. Let's equip that missile. And make sure you set up your weapons in a way that it makes sense for you. Because you want to get used to it. You want to be able to react quickly. Because the pace of this game really does pick up a lot. And remember that dodge button. And also bear in mind the dodge stamina. See, look at that. You have to wait for it to build back up again before you can use it. Why didn't that lock on right away? All right, sometimes that doesn't make any sense. The lock on clearly needs some work. I was right next to that guy, and for whatever reason, my target did not. My sights did not lock on. Look how quickly I locked into that guy. What the heck? What? I was locked onto the other guy. I was pretty sure of that. Whatever. Keep moving around. It's a running gun. Diablo style. Picked up our first healing capsule. Oh, you're gonna need a lot of these. It's hard to play this entire game without taking any damage at all whatsoever. That's a recovery item right there. If your health is getting low, you should equip and use it. The aforementioned powerful monster is close. Get ready! and decide whether to fight or run away. Now would be a good time to equip the healing item. Didn't really waste that. Just wait for it to build back up again, wait for it to reload. So he keeps warning us of a big monster ahead, and I've already mentioned that's the boss. And I've tried taking the boss on right away when I first met him. He wasn't making a whole lot of damage. And he spawns a lot of minions. That will, of course, attract your target sites, so... You're going to end up accidentally shooting at them instead of the big monster. And you're going to want to shoot at the big monster because he's got some attacks that uh, are very hard to avoid. We'll get to him. Right now i got to finish exploring this area.
You're still alive. You should be dead. Oh, hey. Uh, I don't want to exit the level just yet. I'm sorry for the stuttering frame rate here. E yeah, that's very, very noticeable. Really? Come on, I was locked on. How could he have just thrown that away? Since there's no voice acting in this game, I would like the the uh, option to choose a name or to give my dogs a name of my choosing. Hey, well, you know, maybe 24 Frame Inc. will work on that with the next game. And I think there's also another 24 Frame Inc. out there that doesn't develop video games. I don't know what they do. So... I'd probably advise these guys to change their name. Find something else they can agree on. Oh, and, and this composer? Hire him for the next project. He is good. This is like a good atmospheric kind of theme. The boss theme is my favorite. It's one of my favorite boss themes of all time. In fact, I would put it on my top 10 list. Favorite video game boss themes of all time. That's how good I find it. You should be shooting at the plant, not the ground. There you go. Took care of him. Oh, I love this. Listen to this guitar riff. Oh, man. It's so good. I love this music. And it's kind of cyberpunky, you know? Ah, I took damage again. Right there. You're locked on. You have no excuse. Talk to my dog. Use, uh, I believe it's the left directional button to use the item. All right, now you see what I mean. The game's not always going to be throwing a whole lot of healing capsules at you. Hang on. Let's just enjoy the boss music right now. Oh, yeah. fight to it. I'll be able to kick some of these guys' butts. It'll help with my EXP. 
So eventually I can level up. And I'm pretty close to leveling up right now. When you level up, you do regain all your HP. And then so, you get more HP each time you level up. Definitely want to level up in this game. There we go. Watch out, now I just got hit. Woo! Yeah. Not advised. You see that? I just wasted a missile on one of the minions. And you can change who you lock on to, but it's going to be very difficult keeping track of all of those things all at once. You were dodging, you were shooting, and you're changing your lock-on system. That's a very difficult thing to balance all at once. That's why I would advise coming back later. Ooh, and yeah, that's right. He does take a lot of damage from you once he hits you. Well, I got four healing capsules, and, well, you know, there's plenty of game after this stage. So I don't want to use them all up here. Well. Took another hit from him. Can only take probably one more hit from him too. Pretty hard at this point. Yeah, he's just a larger version of the other plants that we've been facing. And I'm not exactly chipping away a whole lot of health from him either. Oh, see? Now, of course, you will be revived. But you don't want to keep dying. Now, come back to life with this electric shock. Keep your constant dying in moderation. <laughs> Yep, best to listen to him. Maybe we can just skip this conversation. Of course, if you want to play this in hardcore mode, yeah, you, you definitely want to be that guy. <laughs> Absolutely. Don't know why he threw that away. I was locked on. What the house? Twice in a row. That's the thing they really need to fix in this game. If I'm locked on, I shouldn't be throwing away missiles or anything like that. Come on. God, I'm kidding, man. I wonder if it's because I'm in an early stage of the game. Or maybe it's because the weapons are supposed to suck. Maybe they have, like, a percentage. But still. That's not exactly made clear in the beginning, now is it? So it just seems like a flaw. Remember to dodge. Dodging and shooting.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who got him by accident? Sorry if I'm not talking much. I'm busy having fun. <laughs> so yeah, they just have to make some adjustments here and there. Fix some things. This game's been around since 2021. And I'm surprised they haven't fixed these glaring issues yet. But this game did release or go into uh, early access with worse bugs and worse issues that have been fixed. But I'd say this is still definitely a game worth picking up and enjoying today. It's going to look a lot better for you because you're most likely not going to be playing it on a computer. It's going to be multitasking. So, don't don't worry too much about my frame rate. My frame rate looks a lot better when I'm not recording this game while playing it, obviously. Sorry, it's something I completely forgot about. I neglected. But I just really wanted to show you this game. I wanted to show this game off. Because not enough people have showed this game off. Might stand more of a chance against him. We'd stand a bigger chance against him uh, if we had some armor. Yeah, once we get armor and we're way leveled up, more so than this, obviously, we'll stand a better chance. It is probably best that I just avoid him at all costs. Um, I have absolutely no special attack right now. So it's best to just come back when I have these things. But I can still enjoy the music for a little bit. Love this theme. I had to upload it to my channel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the composer. But this theme is way too good. It has to be, sorry. His work just has to be shared. I, I still recommend buying the soundtrack, of course. I keep bumping the microphone, so I decided to take off my hat. Yes, I was wearing a hat. Sorry about that. Still cleared it. That's still a win. Just surviving it. That's all I have to worry about. Bum, bum, bum. This will be the only boss fight you'll be able to skip. As far as I remember. Machine guns, artillery, missiles. It looks like we have all the weapons we need. However, breaking through to the west, in all honesty, is still impossible. I don't really have time to play with dogs. I wish you'd just hurry up and go somewhere else already. I'll give you some support. Well, just an electric shock resurrection when you die and some advice. If it's so the stray dogs can get a little stronger, then this much is enough. <laughs> well then, once again, I'll leave it to you. I'll leave you to it. What do we have now? New frame, Bombillion King, 
Doesn't feel earned, because we didn't kill him. Yeah, that's the only optional boss as far as I remember in this entire game. You don't even have to go back to him at all. Unless you want that bounty, which is a decent amount at this stage. It's about 4,000 Gs. Whatever Gs are in this world. And now the gold ant, which is going to be quite a bit tougher now. He's a boss, too. And he's fast. There are gold ants there. If you defeat him, you can get a lot of money besides just the prize money. Gold ants are quick to run, and sometimes they call their allies for help. Be careful so that you don't get surrounded without realizing it. At this point, just use the machine guns on the lesser ants. I take a couple of bullets anyway. Now we'll be seeing more of these boxes. Keep an eye out for them. Man, this game's fun. It is so much fun. Whoops. Yep. Machine gun will be quickest to reload, of course. Now is a really good time to get good at dodging. Don't worry about running over to the coin, just hold the X button until you have everything. There we go. HP full. For now, wait. No, we can carry more than nine. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Look what I just did. Doesn't take too long to get your cannon back after you've used it. Uh, it doesn't take too long to reload, uh, is what I mean to say. Whoops. You see how many hits they take of the larger artillery? Whoops. It'd be funny if dogs actually made that sound effect in real life, too. Anytime they jumped. Oh, 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 oh. Dodge button. Remember that it's there. Switch between weapons frequently.
And of course, the star on the map will also give away where the uh, treasure box is. You shouldn't have to worry about missing it. Whoa! Too close for comfort. There's another boss. We should be able to take care of this one. He mostly runs away. But enjoy the boss music. Not as bad as a Bombillion King or whatever you call it. Stay on him. He will run away. He is fast. Quick to retreat. Dodge whenever you can. Stay at him. At least all these guys help with the EXP. And just like that, we've defeated them. Might as well clear up the area, take care of these guys too. While we're at it. Gotta keep the cardio up. Until they die, of course. boss fight compared to the last one the optional one oh but we're doing that one for sure I just got to get some armor first so I can do a death from above type of attack highly highly useful As far as I remember, there aren't too many bosses that can heal either. If any, 8,000 Gs. Beat him before we beat the Pavilion King. Because he's weaker than the, the interesting. <laughs> interesting. Oh my god. I didn't expect you to defeat a gold ant. But, well... I thought something like this might happen. I've got the store terminal ready for use while you're out there fighting. The super stubborn payment system is going strong. As usual, it won't even give even the slightest discount. Anyway, using this money you've earned, you can get stronger. So hurry up and get strong and go west. Well, yeah, I didn't want that one. Sorry. Not that one. Doghouse. Well, having armor would help a lot more right about now. Um, oh, shop. Duh. Don't have a whole lot. AT missile will help greatly. And... We can afford one more. So I'd go with a 7mm machine gun. Don't worry about the healing drinks. Right now, you're not going to need to buy any. There's no armor you can get yet. So you might as well just save up. Head on out. The white ant awaits us. Do not, 
do not go back into Loyal Dog Fire Missiles 2 to try to fight that boss again until you get armor. Trust me, especially if you want to play it on hardcore. The prey this time is... Uh, excuse me. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. The prey this time is an albino ant. It is the boss of these ants. If you can kill it, you will be able to see an escape route to the west. Get fired up and kill it. Don't worry. You can be electrically revived even if you die. If an ant dies once, it's over. But you can die as many times as you want. In the end, it's clear who has the advantage. Well then, get after it. Love this game. I don't need fancy, flashy, movie-like cutscenes. I don't need voice acting. I can read on my own, thank you, and I can imagine their voices in my head. Which is a lot more fun and a lot less annoying anyway. Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'll have to stream that game sometime and rip it apart while I'm streaming it. I, I didn't like the remake so much. Yeah. And as time went by, I actually liked it less. A lot less. It's just, it's not the same game at all. That's fine. I didn't expect it to be the same game. I didn't even want it to be the same game. But I wanted it to be a lot better than what it turned out to be. I was, at the end of the day, just very disappointed, even when I first played it. I thought it was bright and colorful and funny and kind of fun at times, but most of the time it was just a grind and annoying. The cutscene was just so bad. And I felt like the characters just weren't them. That wasn't Cloud. That was not Cloud. That was not Eris. As kind of, sort of, Tifa, Barrett was annoying. I hated how they did Barrett. I hated how they did Johnny. He was too much of a goofball. He was used for slapstick comedy and to look pathetic. Johnny actually looked pretty cool in the original. I'm a huge fan of Final Fantasy VII. I did not appreciate the remake. I just don't care about the next one, the next iteration, the sequel or whatever. I don't, I really don't care. I don't even think I'm interested in playing it. I don't care about Integrate. I haven't played that. That's been out for two years now. I don't care. Why am I talking so much crap about Final Fantasy VII Remake? I don't know. I brought it up. But you see what I mean, though? My comparison being, look at the simplicity of a game like this and how much more fun this is compared to a AAA release like Final Fantasy VII Remake. I don't know why I decided to use that as an example. I could have used... Plenty of AAA games out there, as an example. And granted, you get your Doom, you know, Doom Eternal, and Doom 2016 once in a while too. I mean, those games are great. They haven't failed yet. There's only been two, but they haven't failed yet. Get your Elden Ring once every couple of years, and that's good that you get a game like Elden Ring and Bloodborne every couple of years, as opposed to every year. I really hope they don't do a remake to Dark Souls. They really don't need to do that. And they better not remake Bloodborne. Oh, for crying out loud. That game still looks fantastic today. They don't need to remake it, just release a sequel. People are clamoring for that. They're waiting on that. But you know what? Enjoy the wait for it while you can. Enjoy the wait for Bloodborne. 
Because this is still pretty fun, you can speculate what the sequel will bring. There's so much you could speculate and hope for and dream of. Anticipate, which can be unhealthy because anticipation often does lead to disappointment. Of course, I've not heard Dark Souls fans having that problem lately. Except with Dark Souls 2. That was a lesson learned. I doubt we'll see another Dark Souls 2 anytime soon. By the way, no, I have not finished Sekiro. I don't know if I ever will. I'm not really interested in Sekiro. Because I like the RPG aspect of a Souls-like game. I like being able to grind and level up. I like the idea of playing a role. Choosing your role in an RPG, which is what an RPG is. Role-playing game. Threw that cannon away. Don't know why. Hate it when he throws away a cannon or a missile when I'm locked up. It makes no sense. You know what? I forgot to equip my new weapons. I've been kicking these guys' butts this entire time, and I didn't even equip my new weapons yet. I'm gonna have that new weapon smell. There's another boss. If we did death from above at this point of the game, it would be way too easy. <laughs> way too easy. Holy crap, look out for that! I want to show you something real quick. You have to beat this boss. Cannot move on. Well, since he's going to keep pooping them out, might as well use them to help me level up. Took some damage. Shite. Shyster McHeister! You got me! You got pinned! Well, what am I doing? There we go. Big guy, I might as well give you some exercise. Yeah, of course you can interrupt the fight to change out your arsenal. That was just a great time to do that, too. <laughs> now I got an albino cannon for free. So you don't really have to buy anything. Could have dragged that fight out a little bit longer. Albino ant, 10,000 Gs. 
Paid. Bum ba dum. Ho oh, ho! You killed that albino ant! That's great! Fantastic! He had eaten a lot of my friends. It's finally time to have a drink with his legs as a side dish. That said, most of my face, tongue, and internal organs are already machines. Anyway, now you can reach the desert area, which is a little far away. You'll acquire more weapons, so use the town's warehouse from now on. <laughs> Maybe it's possible. All right. Next, let's surprise the desert monsters. <laughs> yeah, let's deposit in the warehouse. That actually really does come in handy. You just throw the 7mm machine gun in there. Obviously, you're going to you're going to meet a couple more dogs along the way. We can get rid of the old model cannon and the old model machine gun. Might as well, yeah, yep. Yeah. Old missile too. Let's go ahead and equip the new cannon that we got for free. What's our dog view look like now? Oh, nothing new yet. Not every boss is going to be added as wallpaper or frames. Sadly. I wish they did. It'd be cool little trophies. You know what I mean? Neat little trophies. You can shop and buy. You can even sell things that you collected, but you're not going to have a whole lot to sell right now. No armor to buy yet. No weapons worth buying at the moment. No point in buying them now. Let's continue on to exciting treasure box. I love how this is translated precisely from Japanese. In front of you, in that crate, there seems to be a something, there seems to be something a little special. <coughs> if you equip it, it might do you some good. There we go. Our first piece of armor. Let's go ahead and equip it. And it allows you to auto heal. You can see the little fives, the green fives that are rising. That's my HP going back up. Like Regin in Final Fantasy. Another Final Fantasy reference I'm making. I'm not even a Final Fantasy fan. I just like 7 and 9, that's it. I don't like any other Final Fantasy game. I didn't even like 6. Hey! I didn't like 6 at all! I didn't like the gameplay in 6, but you know what? Maybe I'll give it another shake sometime soon. Still have it. PlayStation 3. Crap, took damage. That's okay, we auto-heal now. It's not as consequential as it was before. But they can still chip away at your health faster than you can recover. So, continue to be careful. We don't have any death from above attacks yet. Once we get one, it's gonna be a spectacle. Can't carry any more of those. Well, that's actually good news. That might as well carry another 18 missile. Of course, by the time we get the other dogs, well, we're going to be pretty powerful as the Shiva. There we go. Auto healed because I leveled up. Just becoming more powerful. All the enemies are doing are making us stronger. That's it. That's the only thing they're accomplishing and they don't even know. They're aiding us in becoming more powerful.
Good idea to grab that. That's a new weapon. I like to manually reload. Not a bad idea to do that. Whoa. What? Why did I shoot at the box? Bye. This game is awesome. Bye bye. <laughs> so satisfying when you blow something up. Now, where is the exit? Where do I continue on? Did I really clear this entire area? Nope, not yet. See enemies ahead and above. One enemy left. ever use the spark. <clears throat> Got enough of those. I don't need too many of those. Well, I mean, granted, it may look like a weapon we already have, but it might also be slightly more upgrading, uh, excuse me, more upgraded than the one that we have. That's not a bad idea to... I mean, you're, you're going to fill up on items pretty quick. as you go through. So frequently send to your warehouse. Frequently send to the warehouse. All right. There was something strange among those items you acquired. Constituent mutagens. You might call them that. What mysterious times. They seem to function by altering the quality of a machine's components. Maybe you can do something interesting with it. I don't know what they can do yet, but my scientist blood has been stirring with excitement for the first time in a while. First of all, deposit the warehouse. Let's take a look at this. Level 5 for range up and reload time reduction. Ah. Uh, oh. Not gonna compare... Reload time eight. Uh, ours is better. A little bit. The range on this one is slightly better, but not by much. You can level up these weapons, but I'll have to explain constituent mutagens some other time. I don't feel like getting into it tonight. might equip this cannon.
the spark. What is the spark again? It's a shotgun. I'm not a fan of shotguns in this game. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain that another time. I don't have the energy tonight. <laughs> All right. Yes. And the albino cannon I will deposit in a warehouse. New frame and background. I think these two are what we started with. Of course, you can switch them up. How about a screenshot? I gotta remember to take more screenshots, especially with a game like Metal Dogs. All right. Well, let's continue. Ooh, whoa. the Rommel ghost already. Huh. It wouldn't hurt to do a little bit more leveling up at this point first. Especially since you're not going to get any collars or armor yet. I don't remember. Maybe we do get a collar in this one? I can't remember. We'll find out. Let's check it out. Let's be brave here. Wait a minute! There's a very dangerous monster nearby. I still don't know what kind of monster it is, but I have a very bad feeling. Stop fighting suddenly. First of all, pick up items. Yeah. First of all, pick up items while scouting. You may have already realized, but some of these items have special effects. Even the same items may perform differently. He explained it better than I did. Examine the performance of the items you picked up. Choose your equipment and, in any case, survive. Anyway, if you want to go further west, you'll need to survive first, obviously. Oh, I love this one. Ooh, a burst. Took some damage. Took more damage. Better watch it. Better remember to dodge. And better not allow myself to get trapped. I hope the sequel comes with more breeds. This guy can teleport. So yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's pretty fast. The energy drink does heal. That's a healing item. Oh crap! These guys are tough and buff and stuff. 
Yeah, and he can teleport anywhere, and yeah, he can... What you're seeing. <laughs> Stay on the run, always. Uh oh! Oh my. Don't get yourself cornered. Like what I almost did there. Holy crap, I'm making a bad move right now. And remember, like the doctor said, survive. You can skip this boss battle too. Okay, I forgot about that. So that essentially also makes him optional. I guess the reason why he's optional here is because you end up facing him again later. For the sake of the story, that does make sense. This is what I'm using these guys to level up. I wish I could level up faster. These guys are pretty tough. Find that ghost. The Rommel ghost, wherever he is. He might be stuck on something. I see his life bar. He's not teleporting. I didn't know this guy could get stuck. Oh, there he is. No! Well then. Oh! Oh, jeez! Holy crapola. I'd rather fight him over here. <laughs> I have a lot more room to fight him. Holy crap! And if you skip him at first, don't feel ashamed. Look how tough he is. My butt. I'm actually trying to get him on the first try. Spawning any more minions. Oh, 
looks like he knows that I'm taking advantage of that. They drop healing items, they help me gain EXP. I suppose it's a lot faster just to say experience. Well, I'm kicking his butt now. No minions to help him. Stop teleporting, you coward! He's almost dead, and he's dead! Ha <laughs> ha! I can't tell you how satisfying that was. It was so satisfying. It was all of the satisfying. Thirty thousand G's, baby! Yeah, first try. It's so much more satisfying kicking his butt on the first try. Oh man, love it! Didn't even have death from above. Oh, it seems that you. Oh, it seems what you met was a Rommel ghost, the desert demon turned ghost. That is what killed you before. Well, you came back alive this time. Think of it as a little progress. And I have a report, too. Example constituent mutagens. While you were fighting, I did that like this, and like that. I did various things. Your weapon. Use the constituent mut mutagens on it. I've developed a facility that can be used to alter the special traits of equipment. We named it the Weapons Laboratory. How original. You can see the details by using it, but... The main thing to keep in mind is the results of an experiment can be ridiculously good, or it could get worse. It's a completely random world. Yeah, exactly. Just let the doctor explain it. That's why I don't care too much for it, and I don't use it much. But that's why it's thrilling, right? No, not really. Oops, this is no good. Or rather, I got a bit too excited. Popped a boner. Or have the mechanized brain and heart genuinely broken down. Anyway, it's been a long time since I was uplifted. By all means, please use the weapons laboratory. Okay. So we can use the weapon laboratory now. It also, not only does it take mutagens, but it also takes our uh, Gs, our currency. So that's why I really don't think it's worth it at this point. And of course, we get the Rama ghost background and frame. We own him, but not quite. He comes back. Listen to that music. Look at that artillery on his back. Could a dog actually carry things like that on its back? I don't know, man. <laughs> Look at that mount. And there would have to be some kind of shock absorbance too. Well, this is, you know, the future. And, and this is also fiction, so whatever. It works. Ah, uh, the cutest war dog. All right. <clears throat> All right, the burst is weaker than the cannon I have attached. However, ooh, a slower reload time on the ghost cannon. Yeah, and there's no guarantee that uh, using the mutagens or 
Gonna increase the reload time on that cannon. Be a good idea to save. <laughs> Gourmet dog food. We'll find out what that does later. Ah, I love these hungry, hungry hippos. Yikes! Love my ghost cannon more! Get more bullets at least. Alright, I'm gonna wrap it up after this. many of them, I gotta spread them out. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness! Ah, oh, you jerks! Hate all of you. Items. Energy drink. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Oh, right. <laughs> well, we have one left. Oops. All right. Here comes one of them. Hey! Curse you. I don't like wasting ghost cannons. Oh, come on. Elite enemies. Let's grab what's in here and run. Oh, jeez. Hit me right in the butt on the way out. Dodge quickly enough. All right. All right, let's try this doping tab real quick. Pumps you up. All right, increases firepower temporarily. Let's use it. Also, the healing capsule, like, again, now. I hate these guys. I tell you. Uh, I wonder if I used that at a bad time. Yeah, I kind of did. I only use it on one guy. Sadly. Oh, well. And then you lose your status effect as soon as you move on to the next floor. Which can also be a good thing because, you know, you'll end up getting poisoned later on in the game. Or have a burning side effect, which is basically the same thing as poison. Same effect. Same end result, too. Yeah, there's status effects in this game, just like D and D. There, I did not mention Final Fantasy. Oh well, I suppose I did there. Of course, if you don't want to use a healing capsule, you could just 
sit here for a while in an area where enemies will not attack you and just, you know, let your auto heal do, uh, do the rest. Takes a while, so you know, you can sit there while, I don't know, eating dinner, showering, taking a nap, going grocery shopping, doing whatever it is you do. These enemies are a lot tougher now, as you can see. So I would advise grinding. Revisiting levels. Going back to the Bombillion King, try and beat him. Get your 4,000 gil. I call it gil. Oh my goodness. You guys really need to leave me the heck alone. There we go. Thank goodness I leveled up. Ugh. Oh, that can really save your butt in a jam sometimes. Huh? What's with this reaction? Oh my god, a dead body! Is that the reaction of a fresh corpse? Would you recover it for me? If it's still fresh, it might be possible to revive it electrically. Take care that you don't become a new corpse while recovering that one. I'll leave it to you. Or I'll leave you to it. No, please, don't get up. Really, in my opinion, I can never have too many healing items. And the enemies get tougher. Is there anything down this hall? Oh, there is. A box. Yeah. Dang it. <clears throat> Don't need it. HP's full. HP, for you non-D&D players out there, means hit points. I think. You know, I'm actually kind of a non-D&D player myself. <laughs> I never actually played, like, an official D&D game. Just played some made-up D&D games with my, my brothers. We just kind of made up our own stories, maps, lore, and all that. And by doing that, we had a lot more fun. We never rolled any dice or anything. But I thought that was better because it's a better exercise of our imagination. And you can never go wrong with that, right? Oh, yeah, I gotta deposit things in the warehouse again. Oh, come on. You're only a few hit points away from death. You might as well just face it. There you go. Hello, you! Welcome to die! Okay, bye. See ya. That was a reference to the X-Men arcade game. If you don't know or are not familiar with that game, just YouTube it. Especially where Magneto says, welcome to die. It's a classic line. There he is. Doberman carcass. Picked up. All right. And throughout the next stage, he's going to be uh, attempting to revive the Doberman. If obviously, he succeeds. But we're going to do that another time. Dun, dun, dun. I've been ignoring those challenges. Huh. And of course, you know, for replayability purposes. Oh, you've recovered the corpse. What is this? Is this the corpse of a dog again? 
Is suicide of stray dogs popular these days? I wanted to try reviving another creature already. Well, it takes time to experiment. I'll try a few times, so please wait a bit. You continue to go kill monsters for money and resources. No, I'm going to bed. That's what I'm doing. So my name is Luke the Kook. This has been Metal Dogs on WASDFM. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Bye.